If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question on your own before listening on. So in this question, we have a person viewing an image on a television, so we can draw a basic picture of that scenario. So here's the person, and they are situated a distance to the viewing screen that we've marked as capital L. And then this is the image on the screen that they're viewing, and we've labeled the vertical dimension of this image as lowercase l. And actually, within that image, we were told that there are 485 visible horizontal lines. So what that means is that this picture is made up of 485 horizontally oriented lines. And all of those lines make up the picture. What we want to notice about those lines is that the distance between neighboring lines could be represented as the entire length of the image, which we marked as lowercase l, divided by the number of lines present, which again is 485. So by dividing that length by 485, we would get the distance that's separating each pair of lines in the image. In addition, the angular separation between adjacent lines, which we can call theta, is going to be equal to the distance between adjacent lines divided by the distance from the viewer to the image, which again is uppercase L. Now, in order for the image not to be able to be resolved, the angular separation has to be less than the angular separation defined by Rayleigh's criterion. And that is given by the expression 1.22 times the wavelength divided by the diameter of the opening through which the light is being viewed. Now, the opening in this case would be the pupil of the eyeball. And so we're going to end up using the diameter of the pupil for that uppercase D. Now, why don't we turn back to the question so that we understand what it's asking. It asks, calculate the ratio of the minimum viewing distance, which is uppercase L, to the vertical dimension of the picture. Remember, the vertical dimension of the picture was lowercase L. So in essence, this question is asking us to solve for uppercase L divided by lowercase L. And we're going to be able to do that with the information that we have over here. Now, what we'll do is we'll focus on this expression for lowercase d, which you'll recall is that distance between adjacent slits. And what we're going to do is substitute it in for the lowercase d of this inequality that we've set up. So here is where we made that substitution. We can actually push the 485 down to the denominator here. And then we can see we actually so far have the ratio of lowercase l to uppercase l. We actually want the inverse of that ratio, if you recall. So we have a little bit of algebra to do here. Perhaps the first thing we can do is multiply both sides by 485l. So it cancels on the left and ends up on the right side. We could then multiply both sides by uppercase d. We could then divide both sides by 1.22 lambda times 485 and then divide both sides by lowercase l. So we have successfully isolated the ratio that we wanted, and now we can plug in the known values. Remember that uppercase d was the diameter of the pupil, or the opening through which the light was coming in, and that was given to us in millimeters, so just make sure you change that into meters. And then we have the wavelength of light was given to be 550 nanometers, so we'll multiply that by 10 to the minus 9th to convert it into meters. And when we crunch that down, we get 15.4 on the left-hand side. So basically, if we read this ratio out loud, it would read that capital L to lowercase l has to be greater than 15.4. And so the answer that we can use is that 15.4. Technically, the ratio would have to be just greater than 15.4, but when it comes to actually just writing an answer down, this can be the number that we use. Thanks for taking the time to watch. If you liked it, click the thumbs up icon and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for additional videos. You can send your own question into the email address shown here. and I'll